everyone thought that the crypto winter is over, well, that isn't happening. The collapse of FTX has jolted 50 lakh customers across the world who use the exchange to trade and invest in crypto. Now, FTX is a Bahama-based cryptocurrency exchange. It is incorporated in Antigua and Barbuda, but headquartered in the Bahamas. The exchange was founded in 2019, and as of February 2022, it had over 1 million users. FTT Crypto, which traded at $80 at its all-time high, has wiped out billions of dollars worth of wealth. It all started when 30-year-old billionaire and the founder of FTX, Samuel Bankman Fried, or SBF as he is called, shocked the digital assets industry as he announced that his cryptocurrency exchange FTX is facing a serious liquidity crunch and would be acquired by their biggest rival, Binance. But before many could even understand of what really is happening, Binance announced that they're walking out of the deal and the FTX group could not revive its misfortune. As we speak, FTX was commencing bankruptcy proceedings in the United States and its chief executive officer has resigned. The turmoil at FTX began after crypto news website Coindesk reported a leaked balance sheet that showed Alameda Research Bankman Fried, a crypto trading firm, was heavily dependent on FTX's native token, which is the FTT. Now, according to many reports, sources have also said that Bankman Fried had transferred $10 billion of customer fronts to Alameda. On the 6th of November, Binance CEO announced on Twitter that the company had decided to liquidate any remaining FTT on its books. Soon after, a deal was announced to buy out FTX non-US operations in a bailout, which was finally then called off by Binance, quoting dissatisfaction with FTX's handling of finances. The FTX group finally filed for bankruptcy on the 11th of November. As FTX's founder stepped down as CEO, there has been a ripple effect across the board. At last check, you had Bitcoin, which dropped more than 10% and hit its lowest level since November 2020, hovering somewhere around $16,400 levels. Altcoins such as Dogecoin, Cardano, Solano and even others have slumped more than 10%. The overall market cap is now below $900 billion for the first time since 2021. As the investigation is still on, there is also an Indian origin executive who is now under the scanner. During the probe, the name of Indian origin Nishad Singh, who worked as the director of the engineering at FTX, has also now come up. Now, according to reports, Alameda Research CEO Caroline Ellison admitted that top company executives were aware of Bankman Fried's decision to move customer funds to Alameda. And Nishad Singh, who was a part of the inner circle of the executives, was actually one of these individuals. This has also now raised the larger question. Should Indian crypto investors be worried? The fall of the FTX group can be considered another grave wake-up call for all crypto investors who have apprehensions about the valuation of digital assets and upon the functioning of crypto exchanges. I've spoken to a lot of experts and they all say that Indian crypto investors are currently in a wait-and-watch mode and it's best to stay away from taking any new serious positions. There are also serious concerns of a prospective spillover to other asset classes that are also being voiced. Many also feel that a lot of retail investors might now go inactive for a while due to the current volatility in the market. On the other hand, institutional investors might like to capitalize on discounted assets at the moment and hedge their investments.